Greetings, Elder Blacklight. Psychological warfare is a slow, drawn out process going from generation to generation. Psychological warfare is the manipulation of the brain waves, of the frequency of thought, imagination. For 400 years, we've been held back from the real education of self. The knowledge, the supreme knowledge of the black man has been withheld by your conquerors. We are prisoners of war. Now, <clears throat> your entertainers are allowed to excel, some of them, because they have a certain charisma about them, but they are psychologically manipulated too because they're chasing something that's not there. Since the white man told you that he was Jesus, you relate to him being your God subliminally. These brothers and sisters that you see on YouTube, they go in and out of the truth. They give you enough to get you inspired. Then they go off in another direction. They are pawns, or better yet, boule, for the enemy, which is the Caucasian. Now you think, think the Caucasian is God. This is subconsciously you think that. For 400 years, you have been held back of education, proper education of self, until the arrival of Master Farah Muhammad, when he told you through the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, that you were the original people of the planet Earth. A lot of y'all don't want to hear that because you don't want to go against the slave master and his children. You're being manipulated through and distracted through this very medium called YouTube. Those that tell the truth, the video is manipulated and a lot of you, like I said before, don't want to hear the truth because you can't handle the truth. A lot of y'all think real small. But when Master Farad came, he said, this planet belongs to the original Asiatic black man. My last videos I've been showing you have been giving you hints of how you have been divided. And as long as you stay divided, you will stay conquered. The family has been divided. The community has been divided. Some of y'all work for the system, 
tried to bring law and order, but this system wasn't founded on law and order, it wasn't founded on truth. This is part one. We calling this a briefing of reality, a briefing of the truth. The whole universe belongs to the Asiatic black man who was the first in the universe. When you listen to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he tells you that they can trace almost 76 trillion years of the black man's existence. Slowly and gradually, it is revealed when black researchers and scholars start digging You can't hide the truth, especially if those of us that love truth want to know truth bad enough. So it don't seem like many people want to know the truth because it gives us a responsible or responsibility to act accordingly to who we really are. A lot of you are scared to act like that. So you get into the sports business, the entertainment business, to please the white man. If you notice, he controls entertainment, he controls sport, and he kills your uh, entertainers when they start speaking against them. So we're going to break all of this down in videos to come. What we need is a collective cosmic a collective cosmic consciousness knowing that there's no limit to your mind, it expands the universe, but it has been shut down. When the Honorable Elijah Muhammad spoke of scientists, he parallels that to God, possessor of power and force. Because scientists is what runs the planet, what controls the planet. But our scientists have been shut down for the benefit of black people and allowed to benefit the Caucasian. Truth should be told and not sold. I'm black light, spreading the truth, passing the mic. Assalamu alaikum which means peace be unto you. That's an African term. Believe it or not.